Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today uh, in this video We are going to continue chapter 5 Network in graph theory Mathematics form for KSSM Okay so in this video What are we going to learn We are going to achieve the learning standard Which is identify and draw subgraphs and trees Okay so we are going to focus on subgraph and trees of a graph Okay so first Let's see what is subgraph. Okay, subgraph is actually um, if in set, okay, topic set uh, that we have learned before. So it's actually like subset. Okay, so we can refer to textbook page 139 to know the definition of subgraph. Okay, so this is the definition of subgraph. Subgraph is a part of a graph or the whole graph, which is as I told you, like subset of a set. Okay, it's a part of a graph or the whole graph itself. Okay, and without changing the original position, the original position of the vertices and edges must be the same. Okay, so these are the important things in order for us to determine whether the graph is subgraph or not. Okay, vertex set graph H. If graph H is a subgraph of G, then the vertex of H subset of vertex for G. The edge of H will be subset of the edge of G. Okay? And the vertex pairs of the edges of H same as the edges of graph G. Alright, so in short, you can say that for a subgraph, vertex in G is subgraph of G. Okay? All vertex in G are subgraph of G. All edges in G that uh, I, uh, with the vertices connects is also subgraph of G and the graph itself is the subgraph of itself. Okay, so, that's so examples on subgraph. Alright, so here we would like to determine whether the following diagrams here given here, okay, we have 11 diagrams are the subgraphs of graph G. Graph G is the, the first graph in the table so this is our original graph so we want to we want to identify whether all the other 11 diagrams are the subgraph of g or not okay so let's see one by one so here diagram one as you can see in diagram one we have vertex p which is same here vertex p and loop e2 which is also the same as in graph g so therefore we can say that yes this is a subgraph Okay, so let's see diagram 2. We only have a vertex R. Is it a subgraph? Yes, because any edges or any vertices in a graph is a subgraph of the graph. Okay, so diagram 2 is also a subgraph. Okay, so diagram 3. We have three vertices, which is P, Q, R. The original one, we also have three vertices, P, Q, R. The position is the same Alright, and the labeling are the same, so therefore diagram 3 is also a subgraph. And then you can see diagram 4, P, Q, R, same vertex, same vertices, okay, and the loop here is E2, also the same as the loop at P in graph G. So therefore diagram 4 is also a subgraph, okay, diagram 5, so is it a subgraph or not? Yes, it is not a subgraph. Why? Yes, we have P, Q. We have P, Q on the original graph. But the edge here in the original graph is E1. But here in diagram 5, the edge is E4. The labeling is wrong. So therefore, diagram 5 is not a subgraph. Okay, so for diagram 6, also not a subgraph. Even though the edges, the vertices, are correct but the labeling is not the same so here is e2 in the original one here is e1 so not a subgraph okay so we use the same concept so we can see that diagram 7 is not a subgraph why because the labeling here is e3 in the original one is e4 and here is 2 but in the original graph is e3 and diagram 8 is a subgraph exactly the same diagram 9 not a subgraph because yes as you can see here the vertices are wrong here at the top is q p 
and then R. But the original one is P and then Q and then R. Okay, and then we can see that diagram 10 is not a vertex, uh, sorry, not a gra uh, subgraph. And the last one is exactly the same, exactly the same as the original graph. So as we have learned before, the graph itself is the subgraph of itself. So diagram 11 is a subgraph. Okay, so let's see how we are going to draw subgraphs from the given graph. Okay, so this is our graph here. So subgraph is that you can draw any vertices, any edges on the graph. Okay, either you want to draw the graph itself, okay, or maybe you just want to draw point R, point P, point Q is up to you. For example, my answer will be Okay, but uh, you have to make sure the shape and the label are all correct. Okay, as long as the label and the shape are correct, then you have no problems in drawing subgraph. So the first one, this is my answer. Is it a correct answer? Yes, because I have P, I have R, P and R. Okay, and then connected by the HE4. Connected by the HE4, which is exactly the same as the original graph. And then my second answer will be this one. Is it a wrong answer? No, it's the right answer. I have point R. At point R, we have loop E3 as in the diagram. And then we also have HE4. So, this is also the subgraph for the original graph on the above here. And my last answer will be, yes, I draw P, Q and vertex. Sorry, and HE1 which is exactly the same as the original graph here so therefore these are my answers but not these are not the only answers for this question you can draw any answers either you want to draw vertex p only vertex r only vertex q only q and e2 q and e1 and so on there are so many answers for this one all right so now let's go to three okay what is a tree of a graph okay you can refer the same page in textbook page 139 the definition of tree is uh, a tree is actually subgraph of the graph. Okay, therefore we have to learn subgraph first before we learn tree. Okay, so the important things about tree is that it must be a simple graph. Simple graph meanings no loops, no multiple edges. Okay, and then all vertices must be connected. Okay, and connected with only one edge for each pair of vertices so therefore there's no multiple edges and the last one is that the number of edges must be equal to the number of vertices minus one the number of edges must always less one than the number of vertices okay let's see example all right so here is the example okay and also in textbook but page 144 uh, 140 sorry okay so the first diagram is it a tree? Yes, it's a tree because all vertices are connected. Every pair of the vertices is connected by A and H only. No loops, no multiple edges. So it is a simple graph. And the last one is that we have 5 vertices and 4 edges. As we learned before, the number of edges must be 1 less than the number of vertices. Okay, but as you can see here in diagram 2, this is not a tree. Why? Because the first thing is that vertex B and vertex E can be connected in many ways, in two ways here. Either you want to go to B to E directly, which is this way, or you want to go to B and then C and then D and then E. So, as long as you have a close shapes like this, so this is not a tree. And the last thing is that we have five vertex, sorry, five vertices and five edges, which is not satisfy the last condition for a tree which the number of edges must be less one than the number of vertices okay so we can make a conclusion tree must be a simple graph connected by only one edge for each pairs of vertices and the number of edge must be less one than the number of vertices okay so just remember this three thing to determine whether the diagram is a tree or not Okay, so let's identify whether this is a tree or not. Okay, question A. Is it a tree? Tap, 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 tap. No, yes. Why? 
because the number of vertices equal to number of edges. Therefore, this one is not a 3. And then, question B. Again, alright, for me, I will look at the number of vertices first as, uh, and the number of edges. As you can see, obviously, the number of vertices more than the number of edges, which is wrong. So, this is not a 3. Okay, and question C, you can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, 8 edges and we have 9 vertices. So, the last condition is satisfied. It is a simple graph and all pairs are connected by one edge only. Alright, which satisfy all the characteristics of a graph. So, this is a sorry, characteristic of a tree. So, this is a tree. And the last one, yes, I will look at the number of vertices which is equal to the number of edges which is wrong does not satisfy the characteristic of a tree, so this is not a tree. Okay, so the last one, we are going to draw two trees based on the graph given. Alright, so there are many answers. Okay, some of the examples of my answers for A. Okay, just connect all the vertices with a single edge. So, this might be the answer. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. And then, this is also can be the answer. Okay, we have five vertices with four edges, and all the edges and vertices are the same as the original graph. That's the important thing. And then, yes, this is also the correct answer. And then, this is also a correct answer. So, for a graph, you have a lot of trees that you can draw. Okay, so for example, question B, uh, my four examples for trees. Uh, on the graph in question B are this one, okay, this one, and this is also a tree, and the last one, this is also a tree, okay. So always remember that tree must be simple graph connected by one edge for each vertices, each pair of vertices, and the last one, the number of edges must be less than one, or must be less than or less one than the number of vertices sorry okay so that's all for this video hope that all of you can understand and clearly understand what are trees what are subgraph of a graph okay stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my youtube thank you assalamualaikum